All right, we're going to set the weekend here on Weather for Weather Geeks, the Friday evening edition. For the second day in a row, we set a record high temperature today. I didn't think we would break it, but it turns out we did by a degree. At the Youngstown Warren Airport today, we got to 86 degrees. The previous record, 85 in 1941. 86 makes it uh, the warmest temperature we've seen this early in the season since 2010. Been 13 years since it's been this warm this early in the spring season, and you know we're not even technically halfway through April. We'll reach the halfway point tomorrow, but two record highs in a row. I, we're not going to set any records this weekend, but it'll still be well above the average. And of course, we're not alone in this. Everywhere where you see an orange or a red or a yellow dot, those are uh, high temperatures that were above the average today, including a lot of records across a, a good part of the Great Lakes into the Northeast today. New York City touched 90 today. It was even 90 in parts of New Hampshire earlier on today. And it's been like climbing a ladder, really. Since bobbing out at 47 for a high last Friday, we then were 8 degrees warmer on Saturday, another 5 degrees Sunday, another 8 degrees Monday. You get the idea all the way to 86 degrees today, our third 80-degree day for the month of, of April. Probably end up with 5 by the end of this weekend. Probably the final couple of 80-degree days we'll have this month because it'll be a cooler pattern, I think, during the final 10 days of April. In the meantime, have you, have you seen any hummingbirds? I have not yet. But I have seen a couple of reports of some uh, hummingbirds being seen in parts of northern Ohio and northwestern PA as well. They're certainly more common south of Interstate 80, of course, where spring uh, started to encroach northward a little bit faster earlier this season. So in, in Cincinnati and Louisville and Nashville and places like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you haven't seen any just yet, uh, probably you'll see some before too much longer as we get deeper into April. Uh, the hummingbirds coming north and the the bloom happening faster than average. It's all thanks to a pretty warm pattern we've been in since late in winter and early in spring. We've had some cooler than average days, but the warmer than average days have far outnumbered the cooler than average days over the last 31 days. And we're going to be a good 15 to 17 degrees above the average over the weekend. But we do have some differences in our sensible weather this weekend as compared to the last couple of days. You'll, you, you've noticed some more clouds today. Uh, clouds streaming in from the south ahead of this system, this low-pressure system that has been meandering across the southern U.S. Actually, pretty good cluster of thunderstorms this evening in West Virginia. Now, that's not going to be an issue for us. But as moisture increases over the next 24 hours, we'll have a couple of opportunities for wet weather, but it's pretty small, these chances at first. Maybe a sprinkle Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, a fraction of the area can see a shower or even a thunderstorm. Now, the coverage will be pretty low on this, but if you get under one of these with the increase in moisture and kind of the slow movement, there's not much wind aloft to steer these along tomorrow, uh, you could have a downpour for a little while, um, but it's only if you're kind of unlucky. Most of us won't see this, but it's something we're going to have to allow for for Saturday afternoon. You'll you'll notice an, an increase in the, in the humidity over the weekend. It won't be as bone dry, the air mass, this weekend. And again, in the afternoon, a part of the area can see a shower or a storm. We'll dry things out again Saturday night. And Sunday, we still think, is largely dry throughout the morning, good chunk of the afternoon, too. It's towards early evening in the approach of this cold front that rain chances will increase. So I think a lot of us will start to get wet by about 6 or 7, maybe even as late as 8. I can't rule out a shower as early as 4 or 5, but I think the, the vast majority of the wet weather is towards sunset, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Could be some thunder with this. And then, unfortunately, look what happens. Here comes the colder air. Now, our model is depicting a little blue here on the map Monday morning. I don't think we see snowflakes at that point, but Monday night into Tuesday morning, not going to be surprised if we have some snow showers and some flurries around. SPC today in their day three outlook, the Storm Prediction Center, it's SPC of course, uh, did outline a good chunk of Ohio in the low end, one uh, out of five, uh, low end risk of, of severe weather on Sunday. I think this, this line that comes across Ohio during the second half of Sunday will weaken as it approaches our area and it gets towards to be towards sunset. The best dynamics uh, in the atmosphere will outrun that line, and so they're not going to sync up real well. And so while there could be a gusty thunderstorm, certainly, uh, the better chance of that happening is west of I-77, I think, out towards central Ohio. And I don't think this is going to be any sort of big severe weather outbreak, but a gusty storm to round out our weekend will be a possibility. Now, this is a real roller coaster ride over the next week before a cooler-than-average pattern, I think, settles in for more than just a couple of days, starting... Uh, next weekend and beyond. Uh, 20 to 22 above average for the weekend, then 10 to 15 below average Monday, Tuesday, then back up above average by quite a margin Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But then here comes the next cold front at the end of next week. And I do think starting next weekend, uh, we will be in a largely 
cooler than average pattern for the rest of April. That does not mean, you know, a bunch of snow and things like that. Um, but uh, I do think that the pattern is likely to be distinctly cooler than certainly the one we've been in this week as we round out the month of April. Beyond that, uh, we get into more of a back-and-forth pattern, I think, as we head into the month of May. But as it stands right now, the warmest part of April uh, probably occurred over the last couple of days. I don't think we'll see mid-80s again until sometime in May. Hope you have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight and all week long. I will see you back here for a fresh edition on Monday.